Hi, my name is Robin Hamilton, and I am the owner of the Around Robin Production Company. And one of my greatest achievements is accomplishing four documentary films. This Little Light of Mine, The Legacy of Fannie Lou Hamer, Dignity and Defiance, A Portrait of Mary Church Terrell, R. Alexandria, and Odessa's Reign. All four mean so much to me, but for very different reasons. This Little Light of Mine came to me because I was a student at Duke at the time, I was an undergrad, and I was learning about women in the civil rights movement. And I was so moved when I came across the book, This Little Light of Mine, The Life of Fannie Lou Hamer by Kay Mills. And I was just so moved by this incredible woman who was a sharecropper who started with nothing and became this political powerhouse. But I decided to make a film about her and it became what I wanted to be, a love letter to her and a thank you in my own way for saying all the incredible sacrifices that she made allowed me to be the person that I am today. I came across Dignity and Defiance, uh, a portrait of Mary Church Terrell, when I was working for another TV station, I was doing a special for Black History Month and I came across this dilapidated house that was on T Street in LaDroit Park. And when I was doing some research and looking into who owned this house, I realized that this woman, Mary Church Terrell, was an incredible suffragette and civil rights activist at the turn of the century. And so I knew I wanted to do something about her, and that's how that happened. Our Alexandria came to be because I was talking to the executive director of the Alexandria Black History Museum. She just mentioned offhand that we have this exhibit that shows dollhouses that recreated what Alexandria was like uh, during the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And the artists who created them were actually in town and they were at the museum. So I decided to walk over and meet them. And that's when I was introduced to Linwood Smith and Miss Sharon Frazier. And it was incredible to see these dollhouses that they were able to make out of their imagination and memories and pictures. And it really brought their history to life. I loved doing that film. Odessa's Reign, I found out about Miss Odessa when I was just walking through the U Street corridor in downtown DC. I saw this placard that had a brief mention about a woman that they called the black female Al Capone, who became a millionaire running numbers and keeping the DC police in her back pocket. Who wouldn't be curious about a woman like that? It wasn't easy. A lot of people didn't want to talk to me about her because she had a very tainted past, whatever that means. But I was fortunate enough that I put my nose to the grind and did a lot of research at the National Archives, went through hours and hours of documents and paperwork because she ended up not only having a long rap sheet, she ended up having to testify before Congress because there was a national crackdown on illegal gambling during the 1950s and 60s, before the lottery became legal, because that's what numbers were. They were an illegal lottery. At any rate, I was fascinated by this woman who had so much power and was so notorious and was able to cross racial and gender lines and lived life on her own terms. So that's who I am. That's a piece of what a Round Robin production company does.